Hey everybody, Grimer here, coming at you once again from Cerro Gordo Zoo here, doing some more work today for your eyeballs and ear holes to enjoy. I want to get right into today's episode because we got some stuff to do, got some stuff to build, and so why don't we get to that stuff? All right, so, so I'm over here on top of the building that we did last uh, last episode where we connected the giraffes and the elephants and the zebras all into one big exhibit with a little pathway in between them. The elephants sure are uh, thrilled about it. They are very boisterous. We're going to have huge leg spikes today, obviously, and then we're going to get, <laughs> get on to what we're actually going to be working on. So, in today's episode, uh, I want to expand the zoo outward this away. Okay, now, I do really want to get to work on like the waterfalls and the river that cuts through this zoo, but that's going to probably be for a stream coming up in the future. I still have to uh, on a yet to be determined date, so um, I'm getting to that. I'm getting to that. But uh, in today's episode, which is going to be an episode, not a stream, we're going to be working on an exhibit because that's what we do at zoos. We build exhibits, right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the, the pathway leading this way is going to split. I'm going to pull up the map here, if I remember, of the basic outline of what the zoo is supposed to be. And as you can see, we've actually kind of sort of gone, not really stuck to it. Like the path between the giraffes and elephants, I decided to scrap and actually connect those. So, yeah, whatever. It kind of works. I also switched the giraffes and elephants around, but, you know, you get the idea. Alright, so we're, and I don't even have like the, the frog exhibit list down there. This is a very basic basic outline for the zoo but if you look at it in the southern part uh below where the giraffes are there's actually a bears exhibit i thought that'd be a good spot to go to today now, i don't actually remember if i caught any bears i don't actually remember but i do know where some are they're over there <laughs> so if i if i don't have any i'm gonna go catch some for for sure so um but i thought right here would be the good spot because that's kind of roughly where it is on my uh basic outline and now this is a lot of area for just bears, which I mean, they're big animals, they need a lot of area. And I do intend on giving them a rather large exhibit, however, not this big, like half this big. Because if I give it about half this big, I can put another exhibit in here of some other animal, which I kind of want to do. And there's also this natural cave right here. This is actually not anything I built, and I thought it'd be cool if uh, maybe I filled it in just a little bit back here, but incorporated this to be like the bear's den. Last year, or not last year, I guess it was last year, last season. <laughs> Uh, the bears exhibit that I had was actually really awesome because you could go inside of the bears den and uh, and I would I wouldn't mind that but I don't know how I could incorporate it into this part right here because I think maybe just being able to see the back part of the exhibit with the den in it might be better for this time around <clears throat> not too sure beard scratch hmm. but if I'm going to do that like the the slope of the land kind of slopes down right here and so like the path to this would be running uh, north and south right here going this way and then they obviously couldn't really cut directly into the bear's den. I mean I could have a path going over the den and you could look down into it but then that would mean that there would be spots underneath the pathway where the bears could hide and you wouldn't be able to see them. So I'm not really too fancy on that idea. But if I don't have the path continue like all the way over to where the hillside is and then hug the hillside like what I originally thought, if I have it cut a little bit closer, a little in, I could actually build the exhibit right in here. And you could walk along, what is it, the, uh, the northern, northeastern side of the exhibit then. Uh, and you could actually look in and see the bears. And that would allow me to actually, like I said, build another exhibit over here where you could see that as well. And then that would lead over to where the reptile center is going to be back there embedded in the in the mountain, actually. The, the reptile center is going to be uh, subterranean. It's going to be inside the mountain. I'm kind of excited to build that one. But <laughs> we'll get to that in another episode. In this episode, we got to do a little bit of terraforming to make sure that this actually works. Because if the path is going down the way, I don't mind a little elevation change. But this is like a three block elevation change here. And that's pretty steep. Uh, especially since I'm going to end up then carving out an area for the bears down here, which doesn't make much sense. Plus the natural caves right there, it's just not working. I'm not feeling the feng shui of this, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually raise the land up a bit for this part, which means I'm going to need a lot of stone. And then by raising that up, I'm going to kind of naturally create the, the pit where the uh, exhibit's going to be in. At least that's the idea. Now, I don't want to raise it up too much. Like, I don't mind this, like, one block elevation change. I'm going to do right here. I think that's the same as that, that elevation over there, which would be kind of nice. It might create a little bit of a flat area in the zoo, but I can always fix that later. So, yeah, all right. I got to lay down a bunch of blocks here and, uh, and get the kind of the shape of the exhibit down and get the path kind of marked out where it's going to It's, it's going to be an elevation change to mark out really the path and incidentally create where the exhibit's going to go.
All right, something like that. Now, I know that doesn't look fantastic, but that actually is the, the pen then. That's the exhibit for the bears right there so far. I mean, that's, that's the extent of what I'm going to do. I'm probably only going to put to, like two bears in there this time instead of, I think I had like four last season. That's insane. Now, I left this unfinished right here because I don't really need to fill all this in because ultimately, if I am going to be building other exhibits, like ones that aren't marked on that map, because right now in the center of that, that makeshift map that I have, it's just restrooms. Do you have any idea how large that restroom would be? That'd be the main attraction. <laughs> <laughs> here at the zoo so I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna actually be putting other exhibits into that I don't have marked in there and that would uh that would be right about here actually there'd be places along the inside of that pathway going around the zoo where there'd be more exhibits the restrooms themselves I'm thinking would be placed like right about here and then yeah all this open space here would have to be other exhibits so I'm gonna just leave it unfinished there that way I'll save me some time from digging later on when uh, when I need to dig down to make an exhibit now, as far as the bear exhibit goes, though, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to remove one layer of this, make it about three deep, just to make sure that the bears stay in there, and then probably go down one more layer even, just so that I can replace that layer with the ground that I want to put in here. So all this blo all these blocks that I put in during that stream, i got to remove. In fact, I might go snag the... Uh, actually, I don't really need to snag nothing. Check this out. I can just do this in uh, little increments. Uh, I can go over here, get a little buff from the... From the uh, the beacon there, fly back, carefully, land it, and then go. So I'll remove this layer, and then, oh, it looks like one of the, looks like this is hollow underneath. Yeah, I forgot about that. So that's going to help. That's going to help out a lot. I just have to remove this layer, and then I can replace the ground as I see fit. Okay, I've got that layer completely removed, and I also went ahead and filled it in to the level that I need it to be at. Now, if you notice here, I did put some cobblestone along the walls here. And that's because what I'm planning on doing, actually I can show you, yeah, fly. What I'm planning on doing is putting the same kind of barrier up as I did in the kangaroo exhibit. So I like how that looked, I like how it turned out, I really like it. I want to keep it consistent throughout the zoo. So I'm going to put this kind of wall in here, and as you can see, it has cobble behind it. So that's why, uh, that's why I added the cobblestone to it. Let's see if I can fly out here without killing myself. <clears throat> Alright, so... Uh, I also defined the cavern just a little bit, the, the bear's den just a wee bit more. Uh, it's not it's not finished. I don't like it, actually. In fact, I kind of want to open it up a little bit more. Like, I was planning on putting the wall right here. I'm thinking about extending this out to this part over here. So it's a big interior part over there that you can look in and see the bears. I like the idea of it actually being elevated off the ground a little bit more compared to the rest of the exhibit. And the exhibit's not going to be completely flat either, so I'm going to add a little bit of elevation change there, too. Not to mention the trees and whatnot. Uh, but first we got to come up with a palette for the actual ground in here because I think that's the next step I'm thinking it's gonna have a lot of grass because it's supposed to be like a woodland area This is actually gonna be one of the first no actually the the frog exhibit was the first But it's gonna be the, the second exhibit. That's not just a dry uh, Plains area, so we're talking uh, podzol. I'm thinking yes grass. Yes um, A little bit of coarse dirt too to mix it up so it looks like it's matted Path blocks are a must, of course, because it makes it look like it's worn in, which the bears would be wandering around in it. Um, I don't know. That's, that might be about it. So let me go grab those blocks real fast, and we're going to start putting down some uh, some grass first. I think we're going to do the usual entire layer of grass, which I have some on me. I'll probably get to that, actually, real fast before I go get the other blocks. Entire layer of grass, and then we're going to use that as a blank canvas so that we can uh, then get to putting down the, um, the other blocks mixed in. So let's get some grass put down. Okay, grass is put in. Now, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle in uh, kind of heavily, actually. I'm going to sprinkle in the uh, the coarse dirt. Actually, I think that would be the first block I'm going to start with. Make sure that this is added in a lot throughout the entire exhibit, because if you guys know much about bears, which I don't, <laughs> but if you know a lot about bears, or if you do a quick wiki search, you might know that they, uh, they live in the woodland area, the biomes and stuff. Uh, these are grizzly bears, I believe, which live kind of near mountainous areas, which makes sense here you know like uh for here in the u.s we have grizzly bears but they are primarily out near the rocky mountains um they're not in the mountains well i mean actually, i'm pretty sure they are in the mountains too but they're not solely in the mountains but that's kind of the area of the u.s the western u.s is where you're going to find them primarily so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to design it similar to that a very, well, we're talking like woods greenland um hilly kind of rocky kind of stuff that's the idea that I'm going to go with here, but I'm just kind of tearing up the grass here a sporadically. Ooh, I missed a couple of bits right here. Look at that. How embarrassing. My bits were showing. All right, let's cover that back up. Uh, but I'm going to make it try to look like it. It's kind of ironic because I'm actually in a woodland right now. I tore up the woodland, and now I'm going to try to replace the woodland. Uh, that's, the, that's the biome I'm in right now. Uh, 
But, you know, hopefully hopefully when I'm done with this, this will actually look a lot better. Like, right now, this looks kind of like Swiss cheese, doesn't it? Now, if you've been watching the series, you know that this will turn into something a lot better than that. But for right now, we're just kind of popping this down like this. Now, I am also going to need to change... I forgot to do the elevation change here before doing this. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Where do I... Well, I, I don't... I, you know what? I'll probably just have it extend out from the cave just a little bit. Yeah, hold on one second. Let me fill this back in and uh, adjust the elevation real fast. Okay, there we go. That looks a little bit better. All right, I got a little bit of elevation change in this exhibit. Now, I do want to add some water in here, too, like I, I, like I do in all my exhibits. And probably over here is a nice open space for it, too. I mean, like a small pond for these things. I don't really need to uh, I don't really need to go too crazy with rivers, I don't think, but maybe a pond. I'm thinking a pond will look good. I guess I can get to work on plotting that out now before I do everything in this area. Like something... Let's actually clear this out right here. I didn't get around to putting the coarse dirt in yet, either. So it's just getting started. Now, bears do like water. I mean, they're not... They're not like amphibians or anything, but they do like water. They especially do like rivers, so putting a river in here would actually probably make a lot of sense more so than a pond, but ponds will work for a, a good water source for them at least. And I think that's about all I want to do for that right there. Yeah, just a small pond, just like that. All right, so obviously I'm going to have to remove a lot of the this down here and replace it with, uh, with the type of uh, underwater kind of blocks I would like to see here. But... Um, I also don't want to make it too deep because I don't know exactly how bears function in water <laughs> in the, in this game anyway, this mod pack, uh, because I don't want I don't want them to drown. So I'm only gonna make it one deep. That way they should be just fine. And uh, now I just gotta go through and sprinkle in uh, all the coarse dirt that I want to put in here so that it looks like this is really matted down. Oops, not right there. This is really matted down. And then I also have to get to work on the walls. There's a lot to do in this exhibit still. Okay, coarse dirt is put in place. Now, what I want to do is I want to add pods in here, too, just to make this look like it's a really kind of uh, not arid environment, basically. I want to call it, like, uh, humid. Not really humid. Humid is, is a little bit of a different feel, but I'm thinking that this will just basically make it look like more of a, uh, a te uh, temperate climate, something not uh, not too frigid, not, not too... Uh, air to dry creepers be creeping i gotta sleep holy cow i haven't been paying attention to the nighttime there yeah sleep before the creepers blow me up basically i want the ground to look like it should in a forest is what i'm getting at so i'm adding in quite a bit of podzole in this area because i think that it would actually look good i also want to open up a couple other spots for it too so that it actually kind of works here um up here i haven't done too much uh as far as like poking holes in the ground and stuff to make uh make this make this pop because uh, I kind of want to spend a little extra special attention up in this area here where I'm going to be adding the the bear's den. So I'm first focusing on the, all the area down here in the lower parts first and then I'll get then I'll get up to that. Okay, final block that I'm going to sprinkle in here is gravel. I think this works pretty good for what I wanted to. Now actually, this isn't the final block I'm going to add in here. I grabbed this granite, okay? I kind of wanted to sprinkle this in here and see how it looked. Very lightly though, I don't want to overdo it with this. I think that having a granite patch every once in a while will look really good. Not to mention having, instead of just rock piles in here, like which is a detail I add in a lot of exhibits, actually adding a granite patch in here maybe. I don't know, kind of poking out of the ground. I don't know, it's an idea. So I think just adding that little bit of red in places, not not overdoing it much at all, just the occasional granite block here or there, I think will look really good uh, when this is all said and done. Let's, uh, let's get a little spot popped over here to add some gravel. It's all about making the ground look pretty, you know? You get the, get the base ground looking pretty, and then the rest of it works after that. Okay, so the final thing to add in for the ground, I'm thinking until we start adding all the details uh, above the ground here. It's actually just a pathing block, so I'm gonna heavily do this actually, because I think that the bears would be wandering around their pen quite a bit, and that would be padding it down quite a bit then. The, mat the matting of the grass would be heavy here, so I don't want to uh, go light on this here. This is gonna be sprinkling throughout all this, and it should make it look pretty much like a woodland area here. I'm also gonna have to go in and add trees. There's a lot of foliage that's gonna be needed to be done to this um, by the time I'm done, so this is by no means finished once these things are added. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm liking how that's looking. I think that's looking real good. Now, before I get too carried away... Before I get too carried away with the um, with the, uh, the trees and the foliage and stuff like that, I want to get this wall put in correctly. So, let's go grab the wood backpack, because I believe this had a fir wood outline to it. Let's grab a few stacks of those. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to outline this entire wall right here. Ooh, that's already first block. Incorrect. Uh, we're going to outline this entire wall right here so that it kind of... See this? I'm going to have to wing it with how this is done because eventually this is going to have to change orientation, but I'm thinking it's going to do that right here. 
something like that. So we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to outline this wall here so that we can get this put in place. And as well as that, we're gonna also have to add the supports to the thing, kind of like what we did in the kangaroo exhibit. Get this down pat first before I get to putting in any of the foliage, because I don't want this to interfere with the foliage when I get to get around to putting that in. Okay, with the wood supports put in now, I can go ahead and add the fencing in between. Um, I kind of want to throw another one in right here, actually. It seems like we could use a little bit of help here. Now, that's a little crunch right there, but these areas where it's connecting to the den, I'm going to have to adjust a little bit. I mean, I could also move this back a little bit here. Eh, might work a little bit better. kind of looks a little weird like that. I was trying to actually, you know what, maybe I'll just leave it up completely because I was trying to keep it from being tied up against... You know, I didn't. I don't know. It just does. It rubs me the wrong way. All right, let's let's go and start adding in the rest of the uh, the fences in here. The way that they are, kind of on the other side. That's a little uh, all right there. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's gonna uproot some of this stuff. I get that. I'll fix it as I go along. Um, but let's go ahead and start sprinkling in uh, the fence posts along the edge here, and that way it'll keep. The, it's gonna be just like that. That way it'll keep the bears back so that they can't actually climb up here. Not like they think they can anyway. I don't think they can climb wood if they can. Well, this could get to be a pretty uh, interesting zoo. <laughs> so uh, let's uh, let's dot this in here uh, throughout the in, uh, in between each one of these supports actually, and then and then this place should be good to go. Okay, so the walls are put in. So this, this exhibit is coming along nicely. Uh, it's coming along very smoothly. Let's get the bat or the the squid backpack open up here and squirt these things back in there. Shan't be needing those anymore. Uh, let's see, we got some blocks here that we got to put away as well. I'm trying to keep my inventory somewhat organized. But what we want to do is we want to start getting some of the, the foliage in here, I think. Just, or at least the trees. I want to figure out where I'm going to put the trees. I'm thinking uh, pine trees or spruce trees are going to be my, uh, my best bet here. So let me go see if I have any of those. I've only got a few spruce cones, actually. But I've got a bunch of fir cones, of course. And do I have any pine? I do have uh, two pine trees. You know what? I think pine might be the way to go, actually. I think pine might look really good in there. Um... Yeah, I only have two of them. That might be all I need, actually. I'm gonna have to probably go get some more pine wood because I really do like how that looks, and uh, and I'm probably gonna need more more seeds if I'm gonna be doing any more exhibits in here that take place in somewhat of a similar area of the world. Um, I think the pine trees are just on top of the mountain here someplace too. All right, so let's go put these in place here, and I think I have. Oh, maybe not. Hold on. Let me go grab some bones too. Okay, I have some bones now. I got some bone meal. I can grow these things now. I want to put a pine tree like right here. Can I play? Oh, do I? Is this, the, is this the wrong kind of thing? Am I doing this completely wrong? What can I? What can I use this with? What? What am I doing wrong here? Pine cone. Oh, it's a little critters thing. Oh, oh. How do I get the biome of plenty one? Do these a pine? A pine sapling? Oh, the dynamic trees ones. That's all I wanted. Uh, hmm. Okay, pine cone into dirt. Okay, that's their interchangeable. Got it. Okay, so I don't actually have pine trees. That could be an issue. You know what? I'm gonna go find some. Okay, I think these are pine trees. Not too sure, but I'm pretty sure they are. Now, will I actually get some good pine cones? Yeah, these are pine trees. Dynamic trees ones. These are the ones I want actually in the exhibit. So let me chop down some trees here and see if I can't get myself a couple of pine cones. Okay, pine cones acquired. The good ones this time. Ones I can actually plant. <laughs> Plant. All right, so let's go ahead and drop one in, like, right about... Somewhere around here I was planning on doing it. Uh, right about here. Okay, let's let, that, let's let that tree start growing. And maybe we'll drop another one in, like, right over here. All right, and I know that the, the bears like woods and stuff, but I don't want to overdo it too much. Maybe one more right there. Just three of them in this exhibit. And we'll put one more right here in front of their den, too. There we go. Let's start looking like an actual forest. Now let's grab some bone meal and give these trees a little extra juice here so that they can actually get growing. Grow! Grow. Good enough. We're going to call that good enough. Alright, so these trees aren't exactly huge, and I don't know if they're going to grow anymore on their own naturally. We'll see over time, and if they get to be wild and out of control, I'll come by and, and fix them. But for right now, I'm thinking that's pretty good for the trees. Now, the bear's den... Bear's den I don't really like. Let's go ahead and squirt that in there because I don't need them. Same with the cones and stuff like that. We're going to put those away for right now. Bear's den I don't really like yet. I want to bring this out a little bit more. And for that, I'm going to need my ground blocks, uh, my building blocks here. So we're going to grab some stone and we're going to build this out a little bit more. I kind of... I mean, I, I guess I don't mind it because I was thinking about bringing it over farther, but I guess I don't mind it the way it is right there. It's just that I want it to be a little bit more bear den-like, you know, something that actually is a little bit more defined as a, as a, a cave rather than just uh, kind of a half of a hole in the wall. 
something... Okay, that's starting to look a little bit better. Yeah, okay, that's looking a little bit better. Looking a lot better than what it was, at least. Let's go ahead and start working out the inside of this place just a wee bit. Yeah. Okay, that's starting to look okay. That's looking a little bit better than what it was before. Now, the back... Uh, the, the, I'm just going for shape right now is what, all, all I'm looking at. I'm not really looking at uh, what the block, blocks are, actually. Yeah, all right. And then the, I, what I really should do is pay attention to what it looks like up... Ooh, rocketing towards the ground. What it looks like up here, because this is where people are actually going to be seeing it. You know what? I think that looks pretty good. I think it looks all right. Now, let's work on the background wall, or the back wall, just a little bit. Let's knock out some of this uh, granite here. Take that out completely. Although I like the granite uh, showing up in the ground just a wee bit outside. I don't really want it to be an overpowering like vein of it sticking out in here. So we're going to knock that out and actually just replace with stone for right now. And if it looks ugly later, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll switch it. Now, this gra uh, gravel on the ground I'm going to dig up right now because I want to control what blocks are actually put in here. So let's pick all this stuff up. Gravel is something I'm always going and picking up. I'm or I'm always going and uh, digging up more of because I'm always running out of it. So I want to just... I'm going to have to find like a gravel beach someplace and just dig up the entire thing. Someplace far away from here. All right, and we're going to... Uh, you know what? We'll replace all this with stone. And then I'll, I'll use that as my blank palette for what I'm going to do on the inside of the bear's den. Okay, so that's already looking ten times better now that I've removed like the gravel and the, the granite in the back. I also went ahead and tried to blend this in a little bit with where the, it's meeting up with the actual like terrain, the, the, the grass and the and the gravel and stuff, and do the part where there's going to be more mainly stone. Now, this isn't going to be just... Actually, mainly stone isn't exactly a, a, a great way to uh, describe this. I guess mainly stone also sounds like a pretty sweet band name now that I think about it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove uh, quite a bit of this, actually, because I want to make this more, more dirt-ish, you know? But not entirely. It's going to have, obviously, stone parts to it. But I'm going to be sprinkling in uh, some uh, coarse dirt as well as some gravel in here. And then I also threw in already some path blocks in there. But let's go ahead and just drop in a couple bits of gravel here or there. And then we're going to integrate the coarse dirt in with it. And hopefully this ends up looking pretty snazzy. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Like, I don't mind it the way it is. I do want to add just a, a few more of the path blocks I think would make it look a little bit better. Because it just kind of doesn't quite work yet. And I don't really need to go too nuts with them, but I'm going to add them in a couple places here or there. And uh, that's got to change because that looks weird. But um, I think, in, think, there we go, that'll work fine. I think once I get the path blocks put in here, it'll look a lot better. And, oops, wrong, wrong button, wrong thing, just click there. Let's take a look at this. What does this look like? Not bad. It's kind of empty space right here, which kind of uh, I might leave it I might leave it because I have a different idea in mind but one thing I got to do is I got to sleep because creepers be creeping taking a little power nap inside of the bear's den ah yep definitely works for a shelter for animals <laughs> for, or at least for me it does uh, let's go ahead and seal that off now there is a couple there's like a dirt block up there uh, which is fine actually I kind of want to keep that as a grass block actually I kind of want to keep that because I'm going to actually add in one or two other ones as well. Because what I'm going to do is add a little extra detail in this place. Something, something, something dark side, something like that. Okay, let's leave it at that. And we're going to pull out the plant backpack. And I believe I have uh, roots right here, these things. That's what I'm looking for. And we're going to drop those on here and have them hanging off the ceiling. So that way it makes it really look like it's subterranean. Look at that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, it is a little dark in there, which means that I don't think enemies can spawn in there but I could add a light source actually maybe a heat lamp somewhere embedded in the ceiling kind of hiding everything uh, let's go ahead and just drop these roots back into the backpack I don't need those anymore I also have worms in my inventory I get those every time I dig up dirt and I'm just gonna eat those things out into space because <laughs> I don't need them anymore let's get on top of the den here do a little work on top here to make sure that it blends in with the, the chaparral biome up on top so this part is not part of the zoo really but I don't want to just leave it a mess either yeah, all right, that works. So now adding the finer details is gonna be necessary. I think most of the exhibit itself is finished. Now I think we're onto the foliage. Let's get to work on the actual foliage itself. Let's throw all these building blocks away right now. Yeah, put them in their backpack. And then we're gonna grab the bat backpack. I need you desperately in my life. So foliage for this location is not gonna be that many dead leaves actually. I think this is gonna be more spruce and, uh, and oak leaves for the most part actually because this is not a dry aired environment. This is more of a lush environment. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add some bushes. Oh, I was going to actually add... Hold on, I might need the. Um, I might need these back. I might want to actually add those stone piles that I was talking about. Uh, maybe even granite piles. Uh, I'll grab those out real quick. Uh, because I, I kind of want to make that, make that put in place before I get to doing the, the vegetation. 
Right, let's try adding one like right here actually. We're gonna put down a piece of granite right there and then we're gonna actually kind of incorporate that in with the save the puzzle. We're gonna incorporate that in with uh, with the ground here by sprinkling in gravel and I wouldn't mind actually grabbing a little bit of smooth stone itself. Actually, you know what? If this was a granite vein poking out, there wouldn't be smooth stone sticking here, would there? It'd actually be stuck in the ground like that. So we're gonna go ahead and get this blended in nicely with it. You know what? That might be good, just like that. A little uh, granite outcrop kind of poking through right there. That doesn't look quite right though, does it? There we go, that looks a little better. Yeah, a little granite outcrop right there. And maybe uh, we, we might want to throw in another little stone pile someplace, not just there. Uh, there's a lot of open space right here, but I have a different idea for what I want to put there. Maybe right over here, and it doesn't have to be a big one, or it might actually make this just a half block high. That way it's not too high for the bears to climb out of the, uh, of the exhibit. Whoa, that's not right. Uh, I did not mean to destroy this block here, but it's already a little too late. And maybe we'll actually make that part of it, actually. <laughs> Okay, yeah, something, just a little detail like that I think is fine. I think that's fine the way it is. Okay, so that breaks up the land just a wee bit. We're going to also be sprinkling in the occasional blocks. Um, maybe another little low crap right here. Might look good. Something like that, nothing too fancy. Um, yeah, okay, now let's get on to the vegetation. So one thing that I want to add in this kind of empty area right here before I get to planting all the bushes and stuff is I want to actually add a down log. I haven't actually added too many of those in uh, in the exhibits this, uh, so far this season, but I think just having a couple of down trees in places will look really good. At least one in this exhibit for sure. Yeah, I think that looks fine that way. All right, let's get to putting in some of the bushes now. And I don't want to build it up too much because I don't want the bears to be able to get out, obviously. Um, but I do need some kind of foliage in here to kind of break this up a little bit. This part, be having it right here isn't too bad but I don't want to go too much more than what I just did right there now. Hopefully the bears can't eat themselves out this way. I know I can, but they can't jump like I can, so. Yeah, adding in a couple of sparse bushes here there probably won't be too bad. I do kind of want to add them along the wall, but the problem is that then the bears can get out, so I don't really want to go too crazy with it, like so. So let's, um, let's actually have this dripping into the water just a bit. Maybe I don't need to add anything over this place. Let's, uh, let's retire the, the leaf blocks themselves for right now. And uh, let's get to work on actually adding plant life to this thing. Now, I still have to go hunting for more plants. Maybe in one of the streams coming up here, that's something I'll do. Dead leaves are something that I can absolutely add in here. Sprinkle that around because it's going to be... Uh, there's a lot of uh, trees here that actually will be dropping leaves on them. So absolutely throwing in a bunch of dead leaves in places. All right, now cattails I think will look really good near the water's edge because uh, it would make sense for them to be growing near the water's edge actually in this kind of biome. Uh, it's it's sort of a, I think it's sort of native to that area. So we're gonna put a few of them lining the edge of the water. What else can we sprinkle in here that might make this look pretty good? Now there can be absolutely be like flowers and stuff like flax. Flax is mainly in the plains. Actually, I don't really like that idea. Flax is mainly in the plains. Oh, these toadstools though. Hold on one second. I I really wish you could plant these on wood. I think that would look tremendously good if you could. But we can actually put them along either side of it right there. That might look pretty good. Uh, yeah, if we can plant those, in fact, I might sprinkle a couple more of these in places, too, like near the base of the trees and stuff, too. Because I think that these look really good, especially in an area where there's a lot of uh, moisture and humidity and, uh, and yeah, a climate such as this. I think those will look good sprinkled in places. That should be enough, though, for those. Um, what else can we add in here to make this look good? Wildflowers? Wildflowers would definitely be a must in that area. So let's go ahead and drop a couple of these in places uh, throughout the exhibit. I don't know if temple bells actually are in this kind of biome or not, so I'm not sure if I'm going to add those. I don't really... Bamboo, not so much. It wouldn't be something I'd be growing in here either. River cane, maybe thorns. I'm worried it's going to damage the, the actual uh, the animals themselves. Let's go ahead and sprinkle in a few of these. Which one's real? I think it's that. The one is broke. <laughs> they always like du du uh, duplicate up or double up like that, and one of them's real, one of them's not. So let's go ahead and sprinkle in a few of these things because this would definitely be kind of a murkier water setting. Um, and, but I do want to add in a couple of other other sized lily pads in here as well. So it's not just all one kind. Now I don't want it to look like a swamp though. I don't want it to look like terrible like that. So we're just going to go relatively light on the lily pads in here. Like that might be it. Uh, the bushes. Oh, these things act absolutely. So bears love berries. And these things would, would uh, be something that they would probably adore to have in there. <laughs> in their exhibit. I'm going to sprinkle these in periodically as well. 
because I think that the bears would absolutely love it. But one thing that they wouldn't love is being absolutely eviscerated by getting blown up by a creeper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sleep again. <laughs> It's morning! Alright, so now that we have uh, some berry bushes put in place for the bears to enjoy, uh, I wish they actually had, like, um, I know in some mod packs there's actually berry blocks or berry bush blocks like this, so you're just gonna right click on them and get berries from it. I don't know what mod that is, but if that, if that exists, I would absolutely be putting it in here. In fact, I almost wanna put, like, make a berry bush, really, you know, and then actually have that lined with these things around it. I think that would look kinda cool. But ah, yeah, whatever. Uh, now, what can we add in here for some extra details? I, do, I don't like how I didn't add any kind of like blocks, like cobble blocks sloping into the elevation change. Sort of a pet peeve of mine, and I really like doing that in places. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the cobble blocks, and we're going to integrate that in with this a little bit. Doesn't really look right with that not having it underneath there, though. So we're going to squirt a couple in there as well. Right there is fine. And again, the same problem here. Perfect. Now... Um, I think we're ready for the bone meal, actually. So why don't we uh, grab some of that bone meal and see what we can do with adding a little bit of grass, tall grass in here. Uh, that way it'll look overgrown like a forest should. Not really sure why, but I have this thing against flowers, but I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep them unless they're just egregious, all right? <laughs> okay, that's better. When they rub me the wrong way, that's, the, that's what goes through my head. That noise, Poppy, you can stay. That's why it goes through my head is that, that grumbling noise. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking that's about it. This is looking pretty nice, actually, now that all, all the grass is put in. Look at this. This is looking very overgrown. This looks like some place where you'd find a bear, right? I'm thinking so. Now, let's give... Let's uh, let's put some of this stuff away, and then let's give the... Uh, uh, let's give the bear's den a little TLC here. All right, so I'm adding a little bit of dead bushes in the back here, because these would be like if the bears were to bring in any kind of you know, forest-like materials, the grass stuck to their fur, whatever, you know, stuff like that. They've had kind of that sprinkled in here. In fact, this will give me an excellent place to actually hide a light also, um, if I want to put a light actually in here. So I'm going to be sprinkling this in places here or there, just a little bit, just to break it up a wee bit more. Make it look, see it's, how it's nice and lush and lively out here, and in there it's supposed to be kind of like dark and cluttered and whatnot, you know, so... Uh, but I do want to add a light in there to make it a little bit brighter so that the, uh, the people walking by can actually look in and see the actual uh, bears in there, though. So some of this stuff, like I said, I'm going to be sprinkling in a little bit of this uh, these dead leaves in here just to make it kind of look like this is just, this is stuff on the ground. Now, another thing that I can do, um, I think that's all I'm going to add for the dead leaves. I don't really want to add any more than that. I think another thing that I can do to make that work is to grab some dead leaves themselves and actually sprinkle that in here, too. Uh, make it look a little bit more lived in, you know? One thing that's kind of bugging me is that this cave... Oh, not that. I need the squid backpack. Desperately, in my life, I need the, the half slabs here, the, the cobble slabs. This cave is too nice. I need, to <laughs> I need to rough it up a little bit more by adding in a couple of little blocks such as this to kind of make it look like this is more of an actual cave. See how that looks? How it looks a little bit less blocky and more kind of rounded out and defined. Um... Yeah, all right, I'm thinking that looks already a billion times better than what it was before. Okay, yeah, I like that a lot better. That was kind of irking me. Now, let's go ahead and add a light. I'm thinking what I'm going to do, instead of adding a heat lamp up here, I'm going to actually just hide a piece of glowstone in the ground, but I have to go grab that first. Glowstone acquired. Coming in for a landing. Let's try not to smash any of the trees. There we go, nice smooth landing. Let's pop this one out right here. And pop that block out right there, drop that bad boy in, and cover it up. Now that should light that place up. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice soft glow back there. Beautiful. I love it. Oh, one thing I could do is I could absolutely add a um, slap here. I could absolutely go make more rockets because I'm running out of those. Holy cow. But I could also add a, a food barrel in there for them. All right, we'll go ahead and we'll put this right in here. In fact, you know what we're going to do is we're going to stick it in the ground because it'll make it look like a... Hopefully it'll make it look like a pile of fish in here. Let's go ahead and fill that up like that. Yeah, there we go. Pile of fish right there. Just for them to eat. Bam. Uh, right here. Steel bars. We're going to have to line the top of this with steel bars for sure. Kind of work this out. The pathing and stuff I'll work out a little bit later. Okay, so as far as steel bars go, and as far as what we're going to do for adding them, we're going to have to knock out this so that this path can go, or this, uh, this trim here goes all the way around nice and even. So I need to knock out these blocks in between here so that I can continue the wood all the way around here. All right, now I just have to add the steel bars all the way around this exhibit, and this one should be completely finished. Just got to go check to see if we have any bears. 
I do actually have a couple of grizzly bears. Look at that. I actually don't remember catching those things. I must have shot a whole bunch of animals and captured a bunch of things. My, my mind is starting to fail me miserably. But I do have two grizzly bears, which means... Uh, I also went ahead and made more rockets. Which means, fly, that I need your guys' help. Please help me. I am falling to the earth. Oh my gosh. Uh, I need your guys' help uh, in naming these animals. So I have two grizzly bears. So if you guys could put your naming caps on, hop on down to the comments section, and throw in your best naming suggestions. And if you have a fun story as to why you think that would be, please add that as well, because I really do like that whenever you guys give me good explanations as to why you're naming the bears that. So we named a bunch from last season. I know there was like Yogi and uh, and uh, Smokey and stuff like that. Those were all last season. So if you're not sure if we used them last season, go check out the Grizzly Bear episode from last season. If I remember, I'll put it in a little annotation on the top right of the screen right about now. So uh, go check that one out, and then uh, and then get back to me with some brand spanking new names because I want some I want some new ones. We got two grizzly bears. I'm adding to this exhibit. What do you guys think? Does this, does this exhibit look good? I need to know these things. But I'm thinking that's going to probably be it for this episode. So if you did enjoy it, please go down and smash that like button. It would help me out a ton. And thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. I will be back next week with more Zawa for your guys for you guys to enjoy. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and bye bye.